guys, so today I'm back with a haul video for you all and I am super excited about this one. I'm actually going to Coachella this week and then I'm in LA for a few days after and I have a few other trips um, coming up and planned for the next few months. So it's kind of like a summer haul but it's a bit early for summer. It's like still spring but I can't wait for summer, it's coming up. I'm gonna talk about all the cool stuff that I'm buying for my travels haul. So I hope that's alright with you guys. I have got some stuff from very.co.uk and also some stuff from free people. This video is a collaboration with very.co.uk when they got in touch with me and asked me if I wanted to take a look on their site for summer stuff. Obviously I jumped at the chance because I am a shopaholic basically. Um, so I picked up a lot of things for next week but also just generally summery things. If you guys want to see some of these clothes on then I would recommend both coming back and checking out my videos from Coachella. I'm going to be doing um, a lookbook of what I wear uh, next week and I'm also daily vlogging this month so if you guys want to check out my daily vlogs I'll probably be wearing most of this stuff uh, throughout the next month as well. I'm going to start off with a couple of beauty products I picked up from Very because they do actually have quite a lot of beauty stuff. Um, two essential things for the summer or for festivals. Uh, fake tan because, let's face it, I'm going to be exposing parts of my body that have not seen the light of day since probably last summer because um, in England I don't tend to get my bod out very often, I tend to uh, keep in hibernation and get very pasty. So I picked up Zen Tan Premium Sunless Tan, this one is a dark one in Deep Bronze Luxe. I've had the Deep Bronze Luxe normal one before but not the dark so this is going to be an experimental experience let's hope it's not too dark but zen tan is really really good because it has that olive tone to it it's not orangey um so yes i'm excited to try that i haven't used zen tan in a couple of years actually and then i also got p20 confusingly with spf 30 they now make it with a spray bottle which is amazing because last time i used p20 it was it only came in like the screw bottle that used to go everywhere it now comes in a spray Factor 30. The reason why I like all day um, sun cream, especially if I'm going to a festival or if I'm out all day and I'm not like on the beach and able to reapply it easily, it's just so much easier. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about getting burnt. I apply this very, very liberally in the morning when I am totally naked so that I don't miss any parts. Trust me, being naked when you're applying sun cream, in my opinion, is essential because there are so many times that I've missed spots either here, like where your bikini go comes there, or in the middle here if you change bikinis and you like have a little untanned bit that always burns so yes I don't know why I'm talking about nudity on YouTube but sun cream is good so they're the first two things that I picked up for clothing stuff I picked up two kimono kind of shrug things the first one I picked up is from their brand South and it is a cream shrug with tassely bits on the side and I this isn't like my normal style but I feel at festivals it's quite tricky because especially when it's going to be hot you don't necessarily want like a thick leather jacket but um you know you want something like to cover up your shoulders at night if it gets colder at night but also to stop you from like burning your shoulders if you don't apply enough sun cream whilst you're naked um so I picked this up and I think it'll be quite cute with some little denim shorts and a t-shirt or a little dress go quite nicely with this dress that I have on actually um yes and I am loving fringing at the moment I'm like obsessed in case you guys couldn't tell by the fact that I've bought a lot of fringe bags I actually have another fringe bag in this full video as well I've got a problem um the next one is from the brand Vila, which I don't think I've ever ordered anything from them before, but it actually feels like really nice quality. This material is really nice. It looks kind of scary when it's on its own, but when you layer it up over things, it's so, so pretty. It's a really nice length as well. Again, it has the fringing at the bottom. Gotta love a bit of fringing. So they're the two kimonos that I picked up. I also got a little dress, which I really, really like. Looks a little something like this. This is from Definitions, and it's basically a white lace dress with navy stripes on it. But what I really like about this is that the stripes on the top are angled inwards, so it makes your waist look smaller. And then the stripes at the bottom are lengthways, or vertical, um, so therefore they make you look taller. Mike is currently walking past the window with a wheelbarrow um, and majorly distracting me. I actually think it would look quite cute underneath like a denim jacket like this. Let's do a bit of a faking wearing it. You see what I mean? I think it would look nice. I really like this. I think I'll get quite a lot of wear out of it in the summer. So I feel like you dress it up or dress it down, like wear it in the day, kind of chilling out, shopping or whatever, and then maybe put some heels on with it or wedges or something and it kind of dresses up for the evening. I also got a festival essential and one that I actually find really hard to wear because I am not super, super stick thin. I find 
little short shorts like this, pretty hard to wear um, in terms of feeling comfortable in them. But I found these ones which are from River Island and they are a size 10. They actually come up really big so if you're looking for kind of well fitted ones I would go a size down. However, I quite like them big because you can pull them down so they're a little bit longer and they're like super super distressed to the point where the pockets kind of stick out of the front. I just, these are the nicest denim shorts I've ever had. You know, like I've never really tried on a pair of distressed denim shorts before and really, really liked them and been happy with the way they fit and the way they make my legs look and way they, the way they make my bum look and everything like that. But I really like these ones. They're the Ruby uh, mid-rise shorts and they are River Island but from Very and I really, really like them. I think they're like the mid-wash as well. I also got a bikini and I'm slightly obsessed with bikinis. I really don't know why because I don't swim very much. I don't sunbathe very much but something about them I just love. So I picked up this one which is super, super bright like multicoloured neon. What I like about this is the top, <laughs> this is super weird, the top has like these cut out like double strap details there. So it goes on like that and then the bottoms which is an essential for me are tie sides because this is so much more flattering than the ones that are like sewn together and if you are not super super skinny they tend to dig in and you know you get a little muffin top type situation going on. I'm gonna take those off now and stop being quite so crazy. And then the last thing that I picked up from Very were a pair of shoes. These aren't necessarily for Coachella, well they're definitely not for Coachella, um, but I have three weddings this summer which I'm very excited about. Um, and I just thought these would be absolutely perfect wedding guest shoes. They're from Ted Baker and they are these kind of strappy mule style shoes. I saw um, Jessica Alba wearing some like these, they were white. I feel like I can't get away with white shoes. I don't know, something about white shoes just scares me a little bit. However, the style, whilst it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's everywhere at the moment, but I really wanted some kind of simple mule style sandals because I just think they're very elegant, they're very sexy, but very simple at the same time. And I really like how they have this tiny little bit of gold detailing at the back as well. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of these this summer. What I was very, very surprised about with these, I don't know why I showed the other one because they're the same apart from that they're the wrong way around. Um, I think what I was surprised about as well is that they're actually quite comfortable and also quite easy to walk in, which is always a good thing with high heels because let's face it, these do not look like they would be comfortable or like they would be easy to walk in, but apparently both. I'm sure five hours in it will be a different story and I will not be saying that they're comfortable. However, um, from a trying on basis, they are really comfortable and they're really padded on the sole as well. All good, love those. Very also has really good next day delivery if you guys are ordering in a hurry, or if you work nine to five and you're not at home to sign for packages, they also have Collect Plus, which is really useful for me because I'm away from home a lot, and it means you can go and pick it up from a local shop. So the last few things I got are all from Free People, which is one of my favorite places for kind of festival style things. So as soon as I found out I was going to Coachella, I was like, I have to get on the Free People website and get inspiration. Maybe not order stuff because it's kind of pricey, but I ended up getting a few things. First thing I got was, surprise, surprise, a fringed bag. Um, this actually isn't real leather, but it feels so good. The quality is like amazing. It's the best fake leather item I've ever had. It's basically a little clutch bag, but it has a strap, so you can wear it like over your shoulder, you can wear it cross body. It's really, really small, but really compact, which is perfect for festival because you can keep just a few little essentials in there and it's not gonna like weigh you down or bulk you down. Love it. I really like the colour as well. It's like a nice kind of orangey, peachy colour. The other two things I picked up from Free People were jewellery. These are both quite similar, but I really like them because I love layering necklaces, but I find they often get tangled. So I really like these like triple design necklaces that are just easy to layer. So basically they're all attached. It's like one necklace, but it looks like three. So this is the first one I got. It actually goes down really, really low. Like it has like a beard at the bottom and then it has like a dangly bit in the middle and then more of like a beaded bit at the top so if I put it on for you guys it just looks like you've made a big effort and put on three necklaces but actually it's just one super easy love that and I think I'm going to wear it all weekend at Coachella and then the other one I got is a similar kind of thing and I would definitely wear these together and go for like the ultimate layering look but this is a little bit different because it comes with like a shorter necklace with a star on it on a fake suede kind of 
necklace bit and then it comes with a big dangly one so there's like a bigger difference with these two I might leave these on with this outfit actually i hope you guys enjoyed this video short but sweet i don't know i'm in a bit of a funny mood today i feel like i'm chatting away like i said before if you want to see more videos from coachella make sure you subscribe to see those i upload every monday and friday and i'm daily vlogging this month so if you guys want to see what i'm doing every single day then head over to my vlog channel which is flood vlog there's a link in the info bar below as always I will link all of these items in the info bar below if you guys want to check them out. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you again soon. Bye! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my spring style essentials. I actually had a look to see if anyone had ever done this kind of video before. I remember doing a winter essentials but it wasn't specifically for style but spring is...